Welcome to a web tutorial for the, for the iPhone app Filtera. This is a graphic design application used on your iPhone for editing photos. To access this application, it can be downloaded for free from the App Store. Once students have completed this tutorial, they will be able to fully crop and edit a photo using multiple aspects of photo editing. So before we get started, I'm going to show you the before and after picture of the photo that we will be cropping and editing today using the Filtera app. So here's the before photo and this is the after photo. So let's get started. Step one, open the Filtera app on your iPhone device. Step two, once you have opened the app, now you can browse the photos in your personal photo album and find the photo that you want to edit. We will pick this beautiful photo of Matt. Step three, select your photo, which we have done. Next, step four, choose your photo frame. To do this, we will go to the bottom of the screen and click crop. Here you will see a list of possible photo frames listed below. We will choose three and four. Next, step five, we will size the photo within the frame. So using your two fingers, you can crop the photo and adjust it as you like within the frame. Once this is done, then you click the check mark button and now your photo is cropped. Step six, seven, and eight will be done with photo adjustments. So for step six, we'll click photo adjustment at the bottom of the screen. And next we will adjust the brightness. So clicking on brightness, We will slide the circle along to get to plus 40. We will click the arrow, the check mark in the bottom right hand corner again. Next, step six, we will adjust the contrast by clicking on contrast. And for this one, we are going to do positive 30. Once again, clicking the check mark in the right hand corner. And for step eight, we're going to slightly adjust the saturation to a positive 20. Clicking the check mark in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, there's multiple other different features that you can use here. We're only using three because this is somewhat simple, but there's multiple other ones um, that you can use to further enhance the photo. Once, the, once you are done with the adjustments, you click the check mark in the bottom right hand corner and we'll move on to step nine, which is texture. So sliding over in the bottom, you'll find a texture box. Click on it and we're going to use the, this texture box here. So once that is done, we'll click the check mark again and we are back to the our edited photo. Now, using this photo, you can touch your finger on the screen anywhere on the picture and it will show you your original photo as shown right here and then your edited photo. Next, step 10, we will choose a frame. So selecting the frames in the bottom, we will browse through the frames and we will choose this frame here that we have selected. Once this is done, we will click the check mark in the bottom right hand corner once again. And here is our photo. And once again, if you need to look back to see how much you have edited your photo, just simply click on the screen and shows you your original photo and then your now edited photo.
Step 11, we will apply a sticker. And browsing through these, a bunch of wonderful nice stickers, we are going to choose this nice teddy bear. Now, once we have selected this, using two fingers to move in or out on the photo to make it bigger or smaller, and then using your finger to adjust it one way or the other on the photo screen. We'll place it right there. And once that is done, once again, click the check mark in the bottom right hand corner. And once you are done with that, you click the check mark again, brings you back to the main screen. And here is our fully edited photo of Matt. So step 12, we're going to save the photo. So in the top right hand corner, you click the box with the arrow on it and it gives you an option to all the possible ways you can save the photo. So we'll click photos and this currently is being saved to the photos on your iPhone. Now you also have options to upload it to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or print the photo. But for today's tutorial, we'll just save it to our phone. And now you can click back and here is your fully done edited photo.